Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another After Effects tutorial, and this week it's going to be this pretty cool effect right here. Okay, so I was actually inspired by this guy right here, uh, David Dologist, uh, with his video right here, where he explains, I mean, sorry, demonstrates the uh, Heroes in this Radioactivity effect. He actually helped me out with this effect uh, and he explained how he did it and I kind of took some tips from that and made my own version. So definitely check this guy out, link will be across the screen right now. Okay, tutorial time, let's go. Get your footage, drop it into new composition, trim it appropriately. So we'll start from here and it here, very short. Okay, first we need to motion track the hand, so create a new null object and uh, we're gonna track the hand when it's open, so about here, track motion, zoom in, uh, find the point, hopefully this will make a good track, go, looking, oh man that went off. That's not good. Maybe a bit smaller. Alright, looks much better. Pretty stable. And okay, that's it. Apply. So we have a stable track here. Call this tracker. Alright, leave this. Make a new composition. Make it 10 seconds long. Background color black. Make a new solid. Make comp size black. Okay, now go to effect, noise and grain, noise and grain, fractal noise, change the type to dynamic, noise type to linear, check invert, pump the contrast to 240, brightness to 6, uh, hit stopwatch on evolution, go all the way to the end, hit 5, so you animate it a bit like this. Okay, take your mask tool, if you don't see it, hold it down and Take the ellipse tool, hold on shift, drag, whoa, 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 hold on shift, drag, make a mask, a circle mask. It has to be completely round, that's why I told you to hold shift. Or uh, feather it out, hit F on the keyboard, uh, 100 pixels, so it's kind of smooth around the edges. Okay, now we need to add some glue. I'm gonna be using Trap Code Shine, it's a very cool plugin from Red Giant Software, I do think. Uh, you can download the free trial if you don't want to buy it yet, so yeah, it's pretty cool. Change the ray length to 1.6 and the boost light to 2.5. Yeah, 2.5 is cool. This one can be 1.5. Okay, now we can just go back to our main project. Let's name this energy. Okay, go back to your main composition, drag energy in. Uh, change the blending mode to add. Find the point in which your energy ball peel, uh, appears. So about here. Probably will be full size volume. Scale it down appropriately. So I just want my hand. Oh, before that, you need to do a right click, time, and then uh, do time stretch and 25. That just makes it uh, animate really fast, so it looks more dynamic and cool. Okay, so we're gonna animate the. Uh, oh, sorry, we need to parent the uh, energy layer to the tracker so it moves with your hand smoothly like this. And then you're gonna scale it appropriately. So hit scale, and also hit a opacity. Uh, by hitting Shift T, and I made this so this opacity will be zero. The scale will be all the way down to zero as well. Move forward like one, two, three frames. Opacity will be a hundred. Scale will be maybe fifty. So it just it just flares up in your hand like that. And you can animate it out at the appropriate time. About here, set two keyframes. One, two, three. Zero, zero. So, bam, 
anime boom all right cool now we're gonna add a little glow to it duplicate it control D type in fast blur add the fast blur onto the layer pump it up to uh, a ridiculous amount like 600 or something five 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 so that's cool duplicate it again and uh, make sure you have these switches active uh, set the middle layer to alpha inverted so it only gives glow around the object and not on the object itself because if you have the glow on the object it will uh, like blow it out blow the details out so alpha inverted matte and it should give you a nice kind of environmental glow you can add more by using an adjustment layer and then taking the glow uh, effect uh, mask it out feather it out pump up the glow pump it up, pump it up just, you know, just play around with the settings until you get something like make sure you uh, animate the opacity of the adjustment layer as well so, so from 0, 1, 2, 3 100. so it kind of flares out with the uh, energy ball so then flare out as well animate it out okay uh, this is pretty much the most of the effect done of course you need to add some sound effects yeah you can use any sound effect for this uh, anything you think is cool I use some kind of like a storm like a thundery kind of sound effect uh, you can also add a lens flare I did that for my final composition so make a new solid make comp size uh, flare I'm gonna use optical flares from video copilot uh, default one is fine. Continue to add. We want it to be here. Uh, animate the brightness from zero. Uh, make sure you start before the actual uh, energy ball starts to animate. Go back three frames, put to zero. One, two, sorry. So it's zero here. One, two, three. Pump it up until you kind of uh, hide your hand in the light and then go forward about 5 frames 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and then lower it down to 100 so it has some kind of a glow uh, of course change the color appropriately to match your energy ball so You can also parent this to the uh, tracker so it moves. But it kind of clips at the side, so you just want to mask that out. Hit F. So, sorry, I did that a bit fast. Uh, double click on your mask, elliptical mask tool. And I'll create this ellipse and then just feather it a bit. That way, it won't clip as bad. Mm, that's free. Maybe uh, move it up a bit. It's a bit off, so. Actually, it should be all the way down, down to zero because it, it may end up being a bit too bright and you lose the detail. And you can see uh, our energy layer kind of clips a bit as well. So you can probably go back to the energy composition and just probably uh, mess with the ray length so it doesn't clip on the sides over here. Maybe about 1.2 should solve the problem. Yeah, kind of. Can't really see it now. So make sure you turn on motion blur as well because that makes everything a little smoother. Like so.
Okay, uh, another thing I did was add some camera shake, but um, I'm not gonna cover that because I already covered that in another tutorial. If you guys really want me to, uh, tell me in the comments so I can make a camera shake tutorial. And of course, I added some displacement particles as well. Uh, you can see right here. here. Here's the camera shake, by the way. Of course, there's some displacement particles. I don't know if you guys can see, but the air around my hand is kind of wavy and displaced. I'm gonna cover that next week because it's a different topic and you can actually use it for a lot of things, not just this effect. But if you guys are really interested in finding out how to do it now, you can look up some tutorials on displacement mapping and displacement maps. And of course, I also added a little glow to my hand here. Uh, and adjust, it's just an adjustment layer with a mask around my hand tracked to my hand as well. So this is this is really simple. I don't think I need to make a tutorial for it. Just add a adjustment layer, add some glow, and then track it to your hand and mask it out. Mask it out and then track it to your hand. So as you can see here, the effect is essentially the same as what we've just been doing. Flare. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, if you're having trouble, uh, post it in the comments. I'll try to help you out. Uh, otherwise, good luck, have fun, and I'll see you guys next week.